Welcome to this New Hampshire beer tasting. I like tacos. So, what I have from Smut Labs, which is Smutty Nose Brewery, uh, they do whatever they do. Anyways, this is uh, called Baja Hoodie. It's an amber lager that's brewed with chilies and agave nectar. Uh, that is the can art. A uh, little um, story on the side. Actually, I will say the ABV is 6.8%, and this is two and a half months old at the time of this recording. Uh, make way for the positive day with this free-flowing, easy-going amber lager brewed with just enough chili peppers and agave to let your taste buds know you're really living. All right, I'll be the... Uh, Judge of that, put it through the bumpy 50 point inspection. Just have to find my last inspection sheet. There we go. Let's go ahead, pour this into a Pilsner style glass. Oh shit, maybe not. I just realized this thing is cracked. Uh oh. Huge crack. Not gonna work. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta go get another glass. All right, so let's put it into this glass. My Litherman's Limited. Okay, it says it was an amber lager. This one is uh, kind of a deep gold. Um, it's kind of pushing into that amber thing, but there was uh, definitely no, no head. It is uh, clear. The aromas. Picking up on, on the uh, agave a bit. There is, is a tiny bit of a chili smell in there. Chili pepper. Yeah, it kind of has like a, a little bit of a fruity Yes, uh, probably coming from the agave, and uh, yeah, can't really say what I'm getting for uh, a malt. It's kind of there, but anyways, let's go in for the uh, the first wig. So, right off the bat, first thing, start building the heat from the chili. You get the chili. Doesn't really seem to have a lot of the flavor, of like a chili pepper, but definitely getting the heat. It's hitting my lips right now. When I swallowed, I, I felt the, the burn going into my, my stomach. My back of my tongue is all uh, lit up. Yeah, so this has got a good spice to it. Do get some of the, the uh, agave in there. And then it's just tons of heat. Can't really tell what the carbonation is. There is carbonation in it. It's just the heat's kind of taken over. Uh, almost everything. Uh, body feels it feels pretty light, refreshing. I'm gonna uh, 
go ahead and pause this and, and put down some numbers. All right, so I uh, hung out in the Baja hoodie for a while. Um, let's just go over go over my numbers. Uh, appearance, uh, I think you can all agree. Head retention, there was zero on that. So yes, yeah, zero. Uh, color, um, kind of light for what I would consider an amber, but I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I think the color could have just been a little bit darker. Actually, more towards an amber color. But, anyways, I give it a 3 out of 6 for the appearance. Um, aromas, very difficult to pick up any real malt aroma out of this. It was pretty much just the agave. Uh, might have been a little bit of hot presence in there. And with that bit of uh, chili, chili pepper note as well. So 7 out of 10 for the aroma. Flavor, once again, um, malt wasn't really there much. Um, hops. You know, kind of play a little bit of a role, balancing it out. Um, but the balance between it, I'm, I'm adding the spice and everything in with this too. Four out of five for the balance and that. Carbonation was great. Um, the aftertaste, I, I really like hot, spicy foods and stuff. But yeah, this is basically, that's all you're getting out of this. Um, especially after you, you don't have it in your mouth anymore. You're just left with that... Um, that heat. Um, but anyways, I gave this a total of 16 out of 19 for flavor. Uh, body, 5 out of 5. And my overall impression of it, because it's probably not one that I'd pick up that often, um, be kind of fun to share with people, stuff like that, uh, especially if you know somebody that likes hot and spicy stuff. Um, it's not bad, but 7 out of 10 overall. So for the Smut Labs Baja Hoodie, I gave a score of 38 out of 50. This is a B plus beer. Cheers guys and thank you for watching.